here is Sophie Harris Greenside, aka the Illustrated Nail, scratch columnist, and nail art extraordinaire, really. So, how's today gone for you? Really good. I've had so much fun. I was with Boo and Robert um, from the Opera USA team, and they were making me laugh all day on the stand. <laughs> My lines were a bit wobbly because I was laughing all day, but yeah, I've had so much fun. I love working with both guys. It's great. Fantastic. We see you've attracted so many texts to the stand because of you know, who you are and what you do. So what kind of nail art have you been producing today? So today we've been showing how to use the gel colour by OPI, so doing lots of different designs of that. So simple things really, so people can just pick it up and take it away and use on their clients. So gradients, you know, like um, French tips, things like that, but just like little tips that they can take away with them. A lot of people are quite nervous in starting out in, in nail art. I mean, what would you say to, to techs who are just like... You Don't know? be nervous. <laughs> um, things, when you look at them, it looks really daunting, but when you break it down and someone shows you how to break it down into stages and to create it, then it, you know, it makes it so much easier. Just putting it down into simple stages is the best way. And your Tumblr now has how many followers? My Tumblr's got like... 500,000, something like that. But yeah, my, I'm trying to get my Instagram up, which is like 32,000 at the moment. So oh, just 32,000. Try, trying to get up there. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> but um, you, you post up every day, really, don't you? Try to, yeah, I try to do stuff. Where do you get your inspiration from to do to do so much now? Um, well, I'm lucky that I get a lot of work at the moment where you know they have projects that they give me and they have mood boards and they kind of know what direction they want to go. So I get to like do lots of different design ideas for like a certain brand or something like OPI. Like I'll send a few things to them. So yeah, they send me the mood boards and stuff. But I get inspiration from anywhere. And has there ever been sort of a, a favourite nail design that you've created, or one you kind of keep going back to and maybe changing? And hard one because I'm doing stuff all the time so it's really hard to say I really like that and when you look back at past stuff I'm like oh I'm not sure about that now because I want to create something new but uh, probably I really liked the Brazilian collection that I did with OPI so those designs were really cool because they're really bright and I like bright kind of cool designs so yeah they were fun. Right. And have you used any sort of strange on the nail or any tools to create a certain effect or design that's a little bit unconventional, a little bit unusual? All the time, really. Well, when I did the Nail Filia exhibition, I made nails out of like kind of a concrete paste type thing that I found in my granddad's garage. So I was just like building, I didn't do it on someone because that's probably a bit dangerous, <laughs> but it was just like making nails on tips and things to create this kind of like um, painted sculpture effect. So yeah, you always find strange things to put on nails. And would you recommend to text, you know, if, if don't necessarily try it on, on someone first, but utilise what you've got around you as well as your professional products and see what you can come up with and just play. Definitely, yeah, just play all the time, but maybe not, I mean, things like that you don't put on a person at all, but do putting it on tips so that they can wear them on tips and stuff, that's totally fine. That's it. What's been your favourite project recently? You've been so busy. Uh, just did Fashion Week, but um, well, I'm going to be making a book, so I'm busy doing that at the moment, so I'm really excited to do that and they Fingers crossed, when can we hope to, to see that out? I say spring, but we'll see. So I've got a lot to do on that, but yeah, hopefully it's Spring 2015, so I'm sure we'll to look forward to that. And in the meantime, we'll just enjoy your step-by-steps and scratch. Keep an eye on your Tumblr and Instagram. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks,